That'd be awesome. You know, they found this weed. Make him a bad guy. They found weed on some Chinese dude from like t- some insane amount of thousands of years yeah, ago. Yeah, I thought an Egyptian tomb. Was it a Chinese tomb? Maybe that too. I know they found weed in Egyptian tombs too. Uh-huh. But they found uh, a Chinese guy with weed in his stash. He had like a little bag. Really? Yeah, thousands of year old weed. A little Ziploc made out Everybody of wood. Everybody hears that story. He's like, I want to smoke it. Like, you know, Trust me, bro. There's people weed. that are trying to exhume William Shakespeare. Because they want to test his body for cannabis. Because yeah. they want to test his teeth. Good luck with that. Really? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> you going to do what? How important is it to you to prove a point, you fuck? Does this scientist yeah. live in a Volkswagen? <laughs> well. <laughs> 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 Dude. That was that was a very funny you line. Dig up that was, was to steal Opie and Anthony's bit. That was line of the day. That's yeah, funny. that's so true. Because when you think those teeth are long gone, right? I mean, yeah, did he, when did he, that's no, not going to happen. Come when on, did he I can see DNA being able to test that shit. But that, they're never going to. I, gonna, I watch Fringe. Medical science is crazy. I got to piss. I just uh, got Fringe. Yeah. You should watch yeah. it. It's fun. That's what it's I hear. X-Files. Man. It's J. James X Files. William Shakespeare. 1564. God damn, son. 1585 and 1592, he began a successful career in London as an actor, writer, and part. 1500s. See, that's some shit that you get when you go to England that you just can't even fathom here in America. You can get it a little bit if you go to Boston and go on like one of those little tours that takes you to these houses from like the 1600s. Like there's a there's a bunch of really old buildings that are still around, and especially tombstones. There's a bunch of fucking really old tombstones in Boston that are like from the 1700s and everything. It's a really it's a trip to look at, but this is 1500s, man. And this guy was out there writing things, and then people would perform what he wrote in front of a, a group of people. There's no microphones, man. Here they, here they. They're just talking like Romeo. Loud. And they believe, apparently, that he was a stoner. Of They're course he sure. is. I think everybody back then was. They tested they prob- his pipe, apparently, as this is what I've read on the internet. That they apparently tested Shakespeare's pipe and found residue of the marijuana. And why did they want to test to see if he was doing it, just to see if he was doing it? Because, well, because yeah. of what we all know, that it enhances creativity. Oh. You know, Carl Sagan wrote a brilliant piece on marijuana and why he uses marijuana. And just look up if you want to find really? this. Just look, yeah, just look up for the people listening at home. Carl Sagan, marijuana. And it was a sort of a lifelong ode to marijuana and that he was a daily cannabis smoker. Really? Yeah, and that he said that what he had learned from marijuana, that there was there were some real lessons that he brought back from that state of consciousness that he could apply to uh, to other uh, aspects of his life that he could actually learn things that he believed weren't learnable like weren't weren't available to him this thought was not available to him without cannabis this is his oh, his belief and this yeah. is you know Carl Sagan's a great mind a fascinating person you know a guy who turns so many people onto cosmology and his you know his words were so you know there, so much of what he said was so appealing that they've t- they've taken a lot of it and put it on videos where they show like space and then he'll be like going on some sort oh, yeah. of a rant about the the size of the cosmos or some incredible Talk to music. Know, yeah and you know and they'd be so hypnotic so guys like that are you know and, and people will argue that he wasn't the most brilliant scientist ever and what did he actually accomplish First of in all, science was any scientist is smarter than you yeah for, for most people like, right yeah yeah and on top of that like you can't deny his contribution by getting people excited about astronomy mm-hmm. you know yeah. I mean, oh yeah people know i know yeah. his name how many yeah. scientists name do i know yeah jesus christ you know stephen Louis hawking Pastor? yeah <laughs> um <laughs> i can name made peanut butter yeah there's there's not that many man there's a small amount so of, he says he couldn't have done certain things without yeah without, yeah his, we, his exact quote i would bring it but my and that says, your version of that is the flying squirrel pussy people <laughs> exactly there's no way i can come up without without weed it's true i i'm uh I, I believe that there's there's reasons why all this stuff is around that's what i believe i believe there's reasons why there's you know, every different substance that exists on the planet. There's, yeah. there's reasons why there's coffee beans. I believe But what does that, that mean? Does that mean everything has to be good for you? There's yeah, reasons. No. It's just there's, there's things that are terrible for you, you know? Like quicksand. Strychnine. There's, there's, there's plants that are, that'll kill you. You eat yeah. those plants, you'll fucking die. So what are the reasons for that? Oh, but they, that ecosystem reason. is probably not connected to me, man, you know? But uh-huh. everything else that is connected to you, you should be aware of. And when, when someone like Carl Sagan tells you that cannabis connects you to the universe and it makes you look at things in a different light and it makes you, you know, uh, a more sensitive person, it makes you more creative and, it, you know, it's helped him I think with it's, a million different thoughts. I know? think it's easy for people to just so 
blow off with those people. So like, whatever, hippie yeah. or whatever. But then it's like, okay, but think, what if a guy was right? Would right. he possibly be a scientist that everyone's heard of? Well, that's maybe he's right. People think about it. will get upset at me if I talk about pot too much. Like, dude, you're always talking about pot. Like, you need to lay off the pot talk. Look, I'm only telling you this because it's of benefit. It helps, and it's helped me. And I think that if you just approach it with discipline, it can be spectacular for your life. And I think that what it can do is that it can enhance your life. And I, I really, truly believe that, man.